three, we are going to look at the empirical formula and the molecular formula. An empirical formula is the simplest formula which shows or gives the ratio of the atoms present in a compound, while the molecular formula is the formula that gives the kind of each atom present in a compound or in a molecule of a compound. For example, for example, in a molecule of ethene, the empirical formula will be CH2, just that we have a carbon and two hydrogens. But the molecular formula will give us exactly what ethene is. It will tell us that we have two atoms of carbon, four atoms of hydrogen, exactly what it represents. To calculate an empirical formula, you must have a table in this format. It must have five rows. One, two, three, four, five. The fourth is a slightly bigger, also the fifth one. And the first law must have elements given to you. You list them. Masses, those are their percentage composition by mass. Atomic masses, you also list. Then you come to calculate the moles. We are the moles is the mass over atomic mass. And then among these ones, choose the smallest and divide it throughout here to get the mole ratio. Example is obtained from 2004, paper two, number seven. A compound Y of molecular mass 46 consists of 52.2% carbon, 13.0% hydrogen, and 34.8% oxygen by mass. Calculate the empirical formula of Y. So remember I told you to draw the table before you calculate. Elements, we are given carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Then the percentage composition by mass, that of carbon is 52. 0.2%, hydrogen is 13.0%, and oxygen is 34.8%. Atomic mass, the atomic mass of carbon is 12, hydrogen is 1, and oxygen is 16. Now in this box of moles, we divide mass over atomic mass, which is 52 0.2 over 12, 13.0 over 1, and 34.8 over 16. This is the same as 4.35, and the second one is 13.0. The third one is 2.175. Now, among all these Values we choose the smallest to get the mole ratio. The smallest is 2.17. So we divide it throughout. This is 4.35 divided by 2.175, 13.0 over 2.175, and then 2.175 over 2.175. The first one is 2, the second one is 5.96, the third one is 1. So always, more or less show they are whole numbers. If you get the value which is greater than 5, you round off. So this will be a 2, this will be a 6, and 1. Therefore, the empirical formula of y is equal to C, you put a 2 down here, H, 6, and O, 1. Since it is 1, you can leave it the way it is. Determine the molecular formula of Y. Remember our empirical formula was C, 2, H, 6, O. Now they want to find out how many atoms of carbon, 
how many atoms of hydrogen and how many atoms of oxygen all together will add up to the molecular mass of 46. We don't know them. Let us represent them with N. What does this mean? It means that carbon, which is 12 times 2 atoms times N plus 6, which is 1 times 6 times N plus oxygen, which is 16. How many are they? Times 1 times N. All this should add up to the molecular mass. This is the same as 12 times 2 is 24 times n is 24n plus 1 times 6 is 6 times n is 6n plus 16 times 1 times n is 16n is equal to 46. 24 plus 6 is 30, 30 plus 16 is 40. 6n is equal to 46, therefore my n is equal to 1. Now you bring this value I've obtained on the empirical formula to calculate the molecular formula. Instead of n, you put 1. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. 1 times 6 is equal to 6. And 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Therefore, the molecular formula of y is equal to C2H6O1. Example 2 is also obtained from 2009, paper 2, number 6. A compound Z of molecular formula AXBY point N water consists of 8.57% A, 45.71% B, and 45.72% water. Determine the values of X, Y, and N. So we are given molecules. We are given molecules A, B, and water. They are percentage composition by mass. A is 8.57. B is 45.71%. And water is 45.72%. The molecular mass of A is given as 27, that of B is 96, and water is 2 plus 16, which is 18. Moles, this is 8.57 over 27, 45.71 over 96, and 45.72 over 18. Here the answer is 0 0.317, then 45.71 over 96, the answer is 0 0.475, and lastly 45.72 over 18, the answer is 2.54. Having gotten the moles, we pick out the smallest. 0 0.317 is the smallest. We divide it throughout. So this is 0 0.317 over 0 0.317. 0 0.475 over 0 0.317. 2.54 over 0 0.3. 1, 7. This is equal to 1. This one is equal to 1.5. And this one is equal to 8. So when you get the mole ratio, when it is 1.5 or 2.5, provided there is a 0.5 in one of the ratios, you multiply by 2 to get rid of a 0.5. So this is the same as times 2, times 2, and times 2. This is 2. 
this is 3 and this is 16. They are 4. The empirical formula of Z is equal to A 2 B 3.16 waters. When you come to the formula, we are told to calculate the value of x, y, and n. x has got a value of 2, y has got a value of 3, and n has got a value of 16.